Hey kids, welcome to the Stylish Rumble Harmony Rigging Tutorial Guide thing. Today, I just want to do a pretty quick one about synced layers. I didn't even know these were a thing. It's just found out and it's so exciting. So I think it was the drawing episode that I was talking about these four different layers up here, my drawing layers. And I was saying that I wish there was more than four because I need, sometimes I need more than four. I need so many for the things I want to do. So someone messaged me and, and they told me that you can, there's a, there's a way you can sync this layer with another drawing. So you can have two drawings that are independent that are connected to one another and they'll listen to one another when you change drawing substitutions and I'm just I'm so excited for this. So one of the places I found that this would be great, great is in mouths because I've had to do some really crazy cartoony mouths and I let you know you want to have your teeth and stuff moving so that you could do crazy stuff like that and you can go to the mouth episode if you missed how I did that sort of thing. You can move the actual mouth part around, you can close the teeth and stuff and this is one way that some studios do it but I've had a situation where I needed to add a tongue to this and it's already full up. I have all my drawing layers so here I'm using a green screen mask and my color overrides so that I can keep everything inside the mouth. The teeth are much bigger than the mouth itself, so here's the bottom top teeth, and then the back of the mouth is like that, and it's all just being cut by this green screen mouth in the front. But all four layers are being taken up to create this thing, and I need to add a tongue in there because they uh, do a tongue thing. So now what I can do is take this layer here, I'm going to connect this up the way I would a tongue, and I want the tongue to be behind the teeth. So here are my teeth layers, my line, my color art, and the underlay, that's the back of the mouth. So I want it in front of that. So I can add it to my comp here that's getting cut by my color override and just add it to my group. And now what I could do, if this mouth already has a ton of different drawing substitutions, that's not a problem either. I love this sink layer thing. So here, say we're our drawings, our mouth has a whole bunch of different drawings on there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Take this new one that I want to sync up to the original one. And you have to go down to your timeline view and right click on it here. And then if you go up there, it says you could either add a sync drawing layer. So that would add a, a drawing that's synced up to this one already. So if you wanted to start here and add a sync drawing, you could do that. Right click, add sync layer, and it's going to create a new layer that's already synced. But I want to sync this one, my tongue layer, up with it. I right click and sync layer with, and it's going to give you this drop down menu. And right now I don't have a lot of drawings in here. If you have a full rig, there might be a pretty substantial list, so you need to know what it's called. So I want my sync P, Beep. and then I select that one. And now you can see already it'll add in drawing substitutions so that. It has as many drawing substitutions as your previous one did. Even if it had zero before, so if I undo, this one has zero drawing substitutions. But once I sync it up, it's going to add one for each of those. So on drawing one, we'll say, I want to throw my tongue in there. Boop. Grab my tongue color. I can just bleh. Make a thing. So now this tongue, I want it part of it on top of the teeth and part of it inside the mouth because we don't want this part over the top, but we do want this part. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this part of the tongue and then put it on an overlay layer and then grab another overlay layer selector. This is just a pre-created layer selector. I'm going to put that one outside the group so that it's like that. And now I can add a tongue deformer and part of the tongue is going to be in the mouth and part of the tongue is going to be out of the mouth. And so this, of course, you could do all kinds of fun stuff with that. And now he's got a deformer on there. You could do like a wiggly tongue, lick the teeth, and do all that fun stuff. And of course, you could do this with a separate layer. But now when I change the drawing substitution on these mouths, the tongue is going to disappear. So it only belongs to that drawing itself. So some things I've noticed that are good to keep track of. If you select one of these layers, it's going to pop out these little dots here. 
So whether you select the child or you select the parent, the dots are going to be displayed all along the way. That's convenient for seeing which ones you're working on. If you extend the exposure, it's going to happen on both. You duplicate the drawing, that's going to happen on both. And if you delete the drawing, so right click drawing, delete selected drawing, that is going to delete it across the board as well. So it might seem a little obvious to say, but it's so easy to be drawing on this layer here. Say you're drawing the tongue and you don't like it. So you just delete the layer and you forget that everything else is connected to it. We've all done that. Don't lie. <laughs> Another thing, certain tools will work across layers. So in my select tool here, there's a little shape and chain button. So that's going to apply to the sync drawings here. If I select my tongue, it's going to select my teeth so I can deselect that button. And now it's just going to select the teeth only or the tongue only, whichever one I have actually selected. And the eraser tool as well will link across drawings. So you can, if you had this selected and you were going to erase some of your tongue here, you're going to erase your teeth and get some bad punk and hillbilly teeth. And you don't want that unless you do want that. So it's good to know that this button is also here hidden in your eraser tool. The brush tool does not have one. So you can't draw on both layers at the same time, as far as I can tell. It could be sneaky, but the select tool and the eraser tool both have them. So keep an eye out for these buttons if you're using different tools with your sync layers so that you're sure when you're working across layers and when you're not. You can also unsync this layer, which is pretty simple. So you go to the child layer. I've, I've labeled them P for parent and C for child. So you go to the child here, you can right click and unsync the layer. And normally that doesn't cause any problems. All your drawings are going to stay there and any substitutions. If you do change the drawing substitutions and stuff, now they're going to work independently from one another like you would expect. The one thing is because this already has a deformer on it, it's going to look, work a little bit differently because if I come he in here to my transformation switch and I stretch this out, the drawing path, which I've talked a little bit about before, now it's going into a temporary place and the element is 11 point D, D27, blah, blah, blah. So it's no longer directly connected to this sync C drawing. So normally here's drawing one and it's got its deformer, its tongue deformer. And when I move here, I've just extended the exposure on that first drawing, but the tongue deformer, you can see the transformation is no longer connected, even though it's the same drawing. So when the drawing, when this deformer was created, it was created to the synced version of this. And when you unsynced it, it creates this a temporary drawing in a folder that it's now connected to and it's not connected to this directly. So if you do need to unsync something with a deformer, you have to keep that in mind. You could either bypass the switch. So we could just link our deformer chain directly. It's not that we could link our deformer chain directly up to uh, the drawing that way, no matter what the drawing substitution is, if we add a bunch of new stuff in here, it's always going to be connected or we could delete this and then create a new deformer. So it's up to you which one you find simpler to do or which one would work better with your scene. But it's good to know that if you're unsyncing something with a deformer, that it will mess up your deformer a little bit. Another thing that's good to know, if you have something selected like that, you can come over here and go to your edit and then select sync layers. So if you have a bunch of different ones synced up together, you can use your special selections here in your edit to select all those sync layers together. All right, so I think that's that's the gist of this little sync layer trick. It's really handy if you get into hyper complex multi dimensional characters with crazy stuff. I've had this exact situation where I had to do this crazy mouth and it had all these big fangs and stuff and the character needed to have a really articulatable tongue and there weren't enough layers so that the animators would have to switch the mouths and the tongue separately because there was just no way to get it all together. It had to have two different uh, drawing elements. So being able to sync them is super cool. I don't know when this started, but I'm glad I know. And now you know, right? So like, share, subscribe, all those things internet people ask you to do. And I'll see you in the next video.